thanks everybody for joining. Um, it's our second innovation hour. Um, I think this is the one that I'm most excited about. Um, Gordon's going to be talking about when to use full CRM and when to use Power Apps. Um, I'm very excited for this because, as we know, licenses are very expensive on full CRM as compared to Power Apps. So, Gordon, I'll give it to you then, and then you can get started. I like the photo, by the way. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, uh, Jason. I'm excited to do this um, presentation here. We're going to be talking about um, <clears throat> when to use full CRM, when to use Power App CRM. Uh, I think a lot of the um, licensing changes that Microsoft has made in the uh, over the past year has really encouraged people to explore this as a viable uh, alternative to full Dynamics CRM. And so we'll go ahead and kind of talk about uh, what all that means here. So, first and foremost. Have you been burned by your CRM? Don't let this happen to you. Are you tired of hidden fees and pushy salesmen? What if I told you there's an easier way? Yeah, and I'm the king of England. Now there's CRM in a can. It's fast. Fast. It's easy. Easy. Now you can get perfect CRM every time. I take CRM with me on the go. Finally, a CRM for my busy lifestyle. No more dumpster CRM for me. But that's not all. CRM in a can is also the perfect paperweight, a cool coffee table talking piece, and a brilliant babysitter. So stop dealing with this pain. Get CRM in a can today. But wait, there's more. Serum in a can is now available in grape. Mmm, that's good CRM. Don't get CRM without a plan. Get CRM in a can. CRM in a can, available exclusively from Channel Q. Order yours today. CRM is now available to you in a can. We just watched the CRM in a can video. It's it's super funny. When we made that video, it was it was before we ever considered doing a Power App CRM type thing. Um, but the the theory holds true. We wanted this idea of uh, being able to have the process of purchasing and setting up CRM so easy that it was literally like being able to walk into a grocery store, being able to pick it up off the shelf and uh, take it home, right? And so that was kind of our idea. And uh, so when we started implementing and designing our own Power Apps CRM solution for our customers. Uh, we thought of no better name than calling it CRM in a can. And so we'll, we'll be talking about that as kind of an example of a uh, Power App CRM solution that's been built out. But in the meantime, uh, I'm Gordon Schrank from Azamba. Uh, we've been helping smaller, medium-sized businesses get up and running with CRM for the past 20 years. And my role at the company is the customer service manager. I have a heavy hand in the marketing departments, the websites, as well as uh, our internal CRM system that we use and the uh, development of our CRM in a can as well. So hopefully I'll be able to share some of that guidance as we go through this. So before we talk about Power App CRM, we need to talk about Power Platform. So what Power Platform is, it's the low-code platform that spans Microsoft 365, Azure, Dynamics 365, and standalone apps. So what it does is it creates a centralized cloud um, data repository that's called Dataverse. And through a series of different data connectors, different types of uh, AI technologies, we are able to kind of take these tools and bring them together to create this family of low code apps. And so when I think of low code, I think of the citizen developer movement, which is basically the process of creating and designing uh, this type of technology and these apps so that any customer, any staff with minimal programming experience can easily go in uh, and create really powerful tools quickly and easily, right? A few of the ones that are part of that Power Platform family, we have Power BI, which is kind of the business analytics tool. We have Power Automate, which is uh, useful in creating different automations that run across various different apps and connects them together in meaningful ways. 
um, power power virtual agents, which is making it easier to create virtual chatbots to interact with for your staff or your customers, as well as power pages, which uh, are external facing websites that make use of your data and how your customers need to interact with that data. And then, of course, there's power apps, which we're going to be talking about here. And when we're talking about power apps, there are a few different kinds of power apps here. Then let's talk about some of the differences now between a light CRM and a full CRM. And so real quick, when we're defining these two things, if I say light CRM, <clears throat> I am typically referring to either the out of the box power apps CRM uh, that uh, you can pick up or some of the more fleshed out, more industry specific tools that uh, companies like us do with a, when we take a Power App CRM and deploy it for a customer, we'll add in additional features and strip some stuff back to make the product more useful for them out the gate. So that's what I mean with Light CRM. When I'm talking about Full CRM, I'm talking about something more in line with full Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. So what are the advantages of doing a light CRM? There's a lot of them. The first is that it's more affordable. The uh, initial sticker price, whether you are going with the out of the box or whether you are going with a built out Power App CRM is lower than the sticker price of um, the, uh, the least expensive full Dynamics license that's available. It's easier to learn because, frankly, there is a lot less to learn, right? There's there's less things to, uh, um, <clears throat> less, less areas to have to focus on. And we really try to narrow it down to the only the most useful tools that your staff actually need to be able to get their job done and, and not the distractions, right? Um, not the, not the, not the big bells and whistles that that might not they might look good on paper but they might not be relevant to your company or your company hasn't uh used the system long enough to even know what would be useful to them right and so this is a a great starting spot for them it uh also has the advantages of power apps and it being in the dynamics family it's got the the super tight integrations with your office products with your microsoft teams it has almost all the advantages of the the full dynamic serum because it's built on that same platform and again this is a really great starting point for businesses uh for most smbs i would say you should maybe always consider starting here. And then once you grow and develop your business, you start to kind of understand more of what you need and want out of your system. Maybe then we're looking at upgrading to the full CRM, right? Um, it's really about kind of how much you wanna pay out the gate for the most basic tools and how much more you wanna pay out the gate for these Microsoft pre-built features that are in the full dynamic CRM. And so when we're looking at using full CRM, these are what we're considering. So uh, your company might have more complex needs. Maybe some of those more advanced out of the box features are exactly where your business is at right now. And it is just more cost effective to go with the full Dynamics license. Maybe you have more industry specific needs. There's all kinds of CRMs out there that are specific for real estate agent offices, dental offices, and, and those kinds of things. And so if, if you do have uh, an industry specific solution, you might wanna look at that. It might have more of the tools you need out the gate. And um, the other advantage with full dynamic CRM is it does play really nice with the other Dynamics 365 modules. Um, it's much easier to integrate into those out the gates. So if that is something, if if you knew right away that your company was going to need Dynamics Field Service or Dynamics Marketing, you might want to consider going with the full Dynamics licenses. Talk about some similarities here between uh, Dynamics 365 and Power App CRM, and there are a lot, right? So. Um, they're both going to be tools for your salespeople to manage their accounts. That's the uh, companies who are your clients, the contacts, it's the people who work at those companies, the opportunities or your sales pipeline, you're gonna be able to measure that, as well as activities. What tasks do I have to do this week? What phone calls do I wanna schedule, right? You can, you can start to sort and organize that information the exact same, whether you're using full dynamics or you're using a Power App CRM. 
Um, they both have mobile and remote access features. So uh, the Power App CRM does live in a different app, but I did download it recently on my mobile. I, I, I fired it up and functionality wise, it's pretty similar. Um, you, you're not going to, you're not going to lose much between, between the two of those. And, uh, if mobile is important to you, that is not off the table when you're considering power app CRM. Uh, last or next is they are both fully customizable to grow with your business. They use the exact same app builder interface between the two of them to build your views build your filters build your your screens whatever your uh end users need they use the exact same inter interface to design that uh that front end they both use the exact same microsoft cloud storage and this is another thing that's really cool because if you start on something like power app crm and you decide hey i think i'm ready to graduate up to full dynamics um the migration is usually very very simple and very painless um, typically, it's even a service that we will offer to our customers for free if they want to uh, get their licenses through us. And next, they both have the exact kind of integration with your Office 365 products, Outlook, Word, SharePoint, Teams. The uh, app that you use that's integrated with Outlook is the exact same app between Full Dynamics and the Power App Serum. There's no difference. Uh, and it's it's the same tools to to build that out. You can integrate your CRM screens into Teams and uh, link SharePoint doc documents to it as well. All right, so we've talked about some similarities. We've talked about some differences. We've talked about our customer. Let's uh, let's dive in now and let's kind of do a side by side comparison of what exactly does Dynamics 365 CRM look like compared to a typical Power App CRM? And so in these examples, I will be using screenshots from our Power App CRM that we've built out, the CRM in a can. And uh, so that's what's gonna be on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. On the top, you with the, uh, the purple header, that's our Power App CRM. And on the bottom here, that is the Full Dynamics 365 app. And um, looking at both of those side by side, I'm sure you can notice they look very similar. And uh, that's that's with good reason. Again, these are built on the exact same interface, the exact same designer, and the exact same front end layout as well, too. Um, the way this My Accounts view is structured here, um, exact same columns, exact same options to filter and sort this data. You'll know what you will notice is that on the left side, there are some different options. And again, this is on purpose. When we are building out uh, Power App Serum for our customers, we want to strip away the tools that are not going to be relevant or necessary for their day to day jobs. We only want to focus on what's the most important to get them in the system, learning it quickly and uh, start using it day to day instead of their older methods, right? Uh, same with the the top bar. There are a couple options missing. Um, I've been a Dynamics user for uh, uh, about six years, six or seven years. Um, all those options that you see on the Dynamics one that you don't see on the CRM in a can one, I never use. I know what they are. Um, I've never used them. They haven't been relevant to my my day to day job, so it's it's just not necessary. And those features cost money, so it's it's something to consider. So this is kind of a main side-by-side -side comparison. Let's kind of dive in a little bit more and um, talk about some other types of screens that you might see. Okay, so this is the full dynamics. This is a account form. This is the out-of-the-box account form that you're gonna find when you first boot up a clean install of Dynamics 365 CRM. Um, I went into accounts, I clicked on my Adatum Corporation, and so this is the information that's laid out for me. You can see in the left column, I have some general information about my uh, customer, including some contact information, website information, phone number. In the middle, I have my timeline. And so this will kind of give me a full timeline view of all my interactions with this account 
If I open an opportunity that's related to this account, it will show up here. If I track an email against this account or someone who works at this account, it will show up here. I can even add notes to this timeline. I can attach files to this timeline, right? Uh, if they just signed off on a proposal, I can throw that right on in there. So there are some differences here. Uh, every difference that you see on here is intentional. We have designed this form custom for ease of use for our end users based on years of feedback and iterations. What we have here is some basic account information on top. We have address information right below that. We have an embedded list view of all the opportunities that are associated with this account. I can even click this uh, plus new opportunity button right from here, and I can, I can make an opportunity without even leaving this record. On the right side here, I have we added a keynote section. If there's if there's important information that I want my salespeople to know about this account every single time they open this form, notes for myself, uh, I can add those to the keynote. They'll all, always be visible for me. I have my primary contact information in here, and below that I have my timeline, uh, which operates exactly the same as the full dynamics timeline. And so again. If I go back to this full dynamics form, if I wanted to recreate this form exactly how it looks here, I could do that in Power App CRM. I have the exact same tools at my disposal. And same if I wanted to recreate this Power Apps form exactly like that inside of full dynamics, I could do that. That that is available to me. So next, let's take a look at these views a little bit more closely. So this is a opportunity view. I can see a list of all of my uh, one or open opportunities. Again, I'm using a, an out of the box example here. And um, this the way that they've put updates on um, on these on these views has been pretty slick over the, the past year or so. If I want to on the fly drag and extend any of these columns, I can do that. If I need to quick filter by one of these columns, I can do that. If I am thinking uh, this this rating column, we don't really use this, can I remove that? Absolutely. I would just go to edit columns, I could take it right out. If there was a column of information that uh, I needed on here for my day-to-day -day that I didn't see, go ahead and, and add that. Right now, this view is looking at all opportunities across my organization. Maybe I just want to see my opportunities. Maybe I just want to see my one opportunities, my uh, my open opportunities. On the fly, I can click this edit filters button and change how it is filtering down this opportunity information. I can even filter by keyword here. And also any individual user has the ability to save any view that they make, they can save it for themselves. They can share it with coworkers. Or if I am the system admin and uh, I want to make a form available to anyone, I can do that as well. If I just click down on this drop down arrow, I'll be able to see all of those views available to me. So, how is this going to compare to the Power Apps CRM view? Let's take a look. All right, so again, the column structure is a little different, but effectively it's identical, right? So any single one of these columns I see on here that I might want in my Power App CRM, I could make it, I could add it. I have the exact same tools to edit my views on the fly, change the columns around, change my filters around, save my views on the fly. All of that is is exactly the same functionality. The filter by keyword, it's exactly the same. The um, the the drop down to to see all my views it's exactly the same in each system so that's pretty cool let's look at some dashboards here so dashboards is another really popular feature of dynamic crm we don't need to have a we we are losing the need to have to print these uh big giant stacks of report papers that we need to deliver up now I can see these dynamic dashboards that uh, update automatically as the data changes. And this is a typical dashboard you might see for a manager inside of the full dynamics. So I, I have different views here for all opportunities in the last year. I have a chart for all activities in the past year. And um, it's, it's taking all of those 
columns and rows of my data and filtering it in ways that are meaningful to me as a manager. And so if I am in a Power App CRM, it's literally identical. Uh, again, we're using the exact same tools. Um, these, these, uh, the, the data in in this uh, Power App CRM is a little bit different than the one I have in the full Dynamics. Uh, but all these charts, you can you can mix and match them. You can swap them. You can build them out any way you want. You can embed views on your dashboard too, if you want to have a miniature view of your open opportunities or people you need to contact, tasks to do for the day. You can add those to each of these exactly the same. All right, so <clears throat> we have talked about our customer. We've talked about the uh, vast similarities between the insides of the system. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty details here. Um, we're going to do actual comparisons uh, about what's, what exactly is com uh, included out of the box. And we're actually going to compare three different kinds. We're going to compare an out of the box Power App CRM. If I'm just buying the license out the gate, what does that come with? If I am buying a typical Power App CRM that's already built out, and I will be using ours again as a model, but there are many others out there that you can look at as well. And then we're going to be looking at the um, Dynamics 365 Sales Professional license, which is the most affordable full Dynamics CRM license that is out there. And we're going to compare what those uh, what those numbers look like. So the first thing that you're going to see on here is um, this license cost monthly. Big difference, right, between the Power Apps and the full Dynamics Sales Professional license. A Power Apps license, $5 per user per month. Super, super, super cheap. Even if you were looking at a typical Power App CRM, um, we have ours priced at $35 per user per month. Uh, that price might vary, but you are almost always going to find that price somewhere between the other two prices you're seeing on the screen. Um, and it's still almost half the price of the full Dynamic Sales Professional license. So what are you getting? What are you not getting with those different price tags? So uh, when we're talking about these systems, I want to first emphasize the out of the box data management tools available in each of these. So if you're looking at a um, $5 per user per month, right out the box, Power Apps license, it's going to come with accounts, it's going to come with contacts, and it's going to come with activities. That's it. That being said, uh, any of these other things that you see later down the line with a typical Power App CRM with a uh, with the sales professional license, it's all available to build out because again, it's it's on the exact same inter interface, the exact same builder. And so for in our case, we wanted to flesh that out a little bit. So uh, we added a opportunities data table. We added a cases data table. We also offered some uh, custom dashboards, some custom views, some custom forms that make it easier for the user to navigate the system, as well as some light marketing. And so for the context of this, I'm defining light marketing as marketing list management. That being said, we also have a um, add-on integration that we can also offer to our customers that we built for integrating their Power App CRM with um, with uh, MailChimp, even the free version of MailChimp, so they can they can use the list from CRM to push off email templates in MailChimp and then be able to see that uh, open click interaction data inside of their Power App CRM. So then when we're looking at the Dynamic Sales Professional license, uh, there are additional features that it will come with. Uh, I'm calling them light collateral, light service, light products. Um, typically out the gate, uh, if, if you're talking collateral, if, if tracking quotes, orders, invoices as part of your um, sales process and your business process, the, the collateral features in sales professional is going to be pretty minimal and you might need to be looking into uh, a different type of uh, accounting software to integrate it with. Same with products. I think the products and dynamics uh, sales professional work really well if you have virtual non-inventory products, but I think once you start getting into real um, 
uh, granular inventory tracking that you need to do. Um, it might not be robust enough for you. And with the with the light service as well, um, it's not going to come with the um, support portal interface. It's going to be ticket tracking inside of your system that your team enters. So with all that being said, um, the custom areas is is maybe the most interesting part of this because whether you're using a uh, power app CRM or typical power app CRM, that's five dollars per user per month or the uh, price tag on the uh, typical power app CRM. You have the ability to create unlimited custom areas inside of your system. Um, in sales professional professional, there are several limitations that you have on the amount that you can build out. For example, these these different tables. So if we're talking about um, building out an opportunities section, building out a cases section, uh, or building out something more customized for your business. If you are in sales professionals, you can have a maximum of 15. Uh, but if you have Power Apps, it's unlimited. Same with forms and views. For sales professional, you have a maximum of two per entity. And Power Apps, you have unlimited. System charts and dashboards for sales professional, you have five max. For guided process flows, you have five max, and for Power Apps, it's unlimited. I do think it's fair to mention that there is a older brother version of Sales Professional, uh, Sales Enterprise. Those licenses, I believe, are $95 per user per month that do have the unlimited uh, functionality for, the, for building out custom areas. I think the database Capacity is really interesting here too, because as you can see, uh, it is half the size. And so that's that's where all of your custom entities are gonna live. That's where a, a majority of your data that you enter and upload into your system is gonna live. Um, five gigabytes plus 50 megabytes per user license that you have versus 10 gigabytes. What I think is interesting about this though, is that because Power Apps CRM has a lot less things in it out the gate, the actual file size of a Power App CRM is way smaller than uh, installing a sales professional license out the gate. So that that uh, that real estate that you only have half of now, you don't need it as much. Uh, you don't need as much of it to install the CRM, even if you wanted a, a sandbox in your system for testing. It's very very small. And for file capacity, uh, it's actually better with Power App CRM. In addition to the 20 gigabytes, you get a 400 megabytes per user. The real restriction that you're going to find with Power Apps and Sales Professional is the number of apps that you can have. So if I am building out, if I am implementing CRM in a can as a Power App, that is the only Power App I can have inside of my uh, inside of my system without paying for additional license, or they do have other plans that enable you to have unlimited apps. Uh, for sales professional, it's a little different. It is up to database capacity, so you can have a lot more if you wanted to have uh, specific apps for different roles in your organization, depending on how you're structured. Um, that would be up to database capacity. All right, and so I do have a, a quick screenshot of this as well, just to kind of see uh, how much space the CRM in a can does take up inside the system. So we're looking at the, the database here and we have this green bar and we have two uh, set up in here and this, this is out the gate. So we have the CRM in a can app installed on here and we have a clone of it that is a sandbox installed on here and it's taking up two gigabytes out of five. And if you did the same thing with sales professional, it would, it would take up, uh, probably about double that these two are taking up. Uh, again, depending on how much was in it out the gate. But yeah, so. I do have some common questions that I have heard in regard to these products, so we can kind of uh, run through some of these here real quick. So um, what kind of training is needed for a custom power app CRM? Uh, the, the great thing about the training is that it's a lot faster because there is less to learn. Um, 
there's less areas to worry about. You can focus on what's most important out the gate and then worry about building on top of that as you grow, as your system develops. And because it's on the same interface, a lot of the training that you find, a lot of the basic training you find for dynamic CRM is the similarly applicable to a Power App CRM as well. Um, does the Power Apps $5 per user per month plan come with enough space? I I, uh, I wanted to show that on the on the last slide, but yes, it does come with an, enough space. The reduced size that the app itself takes up in your system, in my opinion, makes up for any discrepancy between the five gigabytes and 10 gigabytes from buying Sales Professional. And um, there is other options available to you as well. You can buy additional storage space a la carte from Microsoft. We, for our customers, we typically encourage uh, regular or yearly cleanups of their system to expunge old data that isn't useful to them anymore. What happens if I outgrow a Power App CRM? So again, what's really great about Power App CRM is uh, because it's on the same Dataverse system that the Full Dynamics is, migrating your data from Power App CRM into Full Dynamics is, is usually fairly painless. I'm going to say usually because um, there's always exceptions to that. But uh, any any trained team of experts like ours handling a um, a migration like that will be able to handle it. Plus any of the form changes, uh, custom views that you've made, your your dashboards, you can still retain all that. You can throw that all in a solution and pop it right on to your full dynamics if you're ready to make that move. And how does the Power App Serum compare to Salesforce? So for our customers, we find a lot of them uh, see Salesforce as uh, much more enterprise focused. Um, it has a lot of robust tools that are probably not going to be as relevant to most people in the SMB space. Um, and they can be more complex, harder to learn. They can be have a higher price tag on them that a lot of our SMBs we work with aren't willing to uh, look into. And so the other advantage too with with it being in the Microsoft family is it's got that really tight integration with all of the Microsoft family apps as well. Can the customer modify the Light Serum? Yes, absolutely. It has all of the customization tools that are available to um, uh, the Microsoft customers, whether they are using the Power App Serum or they're using the full Dynamic Serum. It's the exact same backend tools, the exact same features for building out those uh, those forms, those screens, whatever you need. Um, for us, it's usually not the building out of the forms that that uh, I see customers struggling with. It is the advising portion. It is the understanding the best practices, the less is, is more approach, the minimum viable product ap approach that we really um, um, encourage in our customers so that we, again, make this product as easy to use with only the important features that they need to get their job done day to day. Uh, how does it compare to the relationship manager in Business Central? Yeah, so a lot of companies who use Business Central, uh, relationship manager can work. Um, however, the, the full dynamics or Power App Serum is designed to be a comprehensive CRM solution. It is meant to really streamline and uh, uh, make your salespeople's jobs as easy as possible, uh, have them spend less time working on data management and more time on the phone with clients, keeping their information organized. So typically we always say, if, if you really want to accelerate what your salespeople are doing, um, you will probably want to look into a, um, a Power App CRM or Dynamic CRM. It's it's also important to think about like what is the focus of your business too, because if you do have a sales forward business, you do want to be looking at these tools as an important piece of them. And how long does it take to implement this? So. Um, it is possible to get up and running with a Power App CRM in just a couple of weeks. It can depend on how much autonomy you want in your implementation, 
how much help you are looking for. And uh, we find that being able to involve ourselves with our customers really does affect the the pace at which they they can accomplish their onboards and accomplish their goals. Um, we definitely find that uh, additional guidance from experts as well as accountability for their implementation can go a long way for these customers. And lastly, what does it typically cost? We have uh, some customers on our Power App Serum, Serum in a Can right now, and they are paying anywhere between $350 a month to $1,000 a month. And we do have different packages for getting started because that's normally the, uh, the most challenging part of an implementation. We have packages that are totally free. You, if you're a self-starter, if you want to um, go through training and do it yourself, we have that available. We also have guided uh, implementations that start at $3,500 as well that uh, a lot of customers really benefit from. Okay, uh, that's all my questions. Uh, that's I, I think that's just about all I got here. So, um, Jason, I don't know if you, if you got any from the audience or you had any anything else you wanted to add on to that. Amazing presentation, Gordon. Um, You've answered all my questions. I'm very excited for where this is going, especially with the new, and this is something we'll focus on in the future with Innovation Hour as well, is the power apps and then also the model-driven power app, similar to CRM and can, together with the hybrid custom pages. Um, it's really, it's it's becoming so powerful with what you can do, the customizations you can do, what you can build. It's really... I'm getting goosebumps. Um, that's how excited I am for this <laughs> going forward. So, yeah, I I absolutely uh, agree. It will be interesting to see what this uh, landscape and ecosystem looks like in a couple of years. Yeah, no, definitely. Please join us next week. We'll be doing a deep dive into Dynamics uh, 365 marketing, uh, where Bryn will be leading. The, uh, the webinar next week. I'm very excited for that as well. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you Thanks so much for, for having me, uh, Jason. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again sometime soon. We'll do. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.